Welcome to the first ever episode of Kickstarters with Gadgetsu, a new series where we explore, discover, and test out cool new products from Kickstarter and Indiegogo. And for today's video, we've got a cool little product, which is a wearable neck air conditioner from the company iSwift, which just launched their campaign on Kickstarter earlier this month, although I believe their campaign has just ended as well. But before we get started, I just wanted to say that the company did set out this product for me to review, but they did not sponsor this video, I'm not doing any affiliate programs with them, and they do not get to tell me what to say, or even see this video before it's published. So you can definitely be rest assured that everything that comes out of my mouth is honest and from the bottom of my heart. And not to mention, this video is also unscripted. And also, one last thing, just a disclaimer that Kickstarters are basically like investing your own money into a brand new startup company with no guarantees that they won't scam you, so you should definitely be careful about which campaigns you pledge and definitely do it at your own risk. But enough talking, and let's get started with this product. Alright, this product is called the Matora Pro, and on their Kickstarter page, they claim to be the world's first wearable AC that blows cold airflow. And you know, I've definitely seen a couple of products like this floating around, especially from companies like Sony, and I've always wondered, like, are these a scam? Do they actually work? Because like, you know, you don't really see much coverage about this on the news or on YouTube, so, you know, I thought it'd be a cool idea to test it out. But uh, anyways, let's just get started with the unboxing. Alright, so looking at the product, it's Matora Pro. Redefine your life. Travel freely anytime, anywhere. And wearable smart air conditioner. All right, let's open this thing. So we got saran wrap. Ooh. All right. Goodbye, goodbye. All right, where is the... How do I open this thing? Oh, there's a pull tab over here, okay. Satisfying. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Okay. So inside, it's like a nice little felt pouch. Oh, it's actually pretty heavy. Let me take this box out of the way as well. It's actually a really nice felt case. It's like you know one of those like felt mouse pads. Yeah, kind of feels like that. And I love the red accents. So right off the bat, like the packaging is super premium. And I think this is the case for the actual like air conditioner as well. So let's open it. Oh yeah, and this is like also perfect timing because like I'm like I'm in Canada right now. We're in the middle of a heat wave, so it's like over 30 degrees in my house, and I'm like sweating like crazy. But anyways, let's open this thing. Ooh, okay. It's got this. Pla Ooh, okay. So wait, it's open. Yeah. So it's got like this plastic guard on it. Oh wow. Okay. So this thing opens up. We got a cable inside. Let me double check. So it's a USB-C to C cable. And then what else have we got? We've got a 30 day unconditional return or exchange. Excellent after sales service after 365 days. Okay, I hope that's true. Scans have all access. Okay, we'll scan that after we take the product out. Ooh, okay, so it feels really robust actually. Let me close this case for now. All right, so I guess this is like, so I guess like these three gray plates are like what they call the icy plates. So like it like puts like cold, it feels the cold on your neck, I think. And then there are actual fan slits on top over here. And that's supposed to like blow cold air into like your neck and your face, I guess. Huh, interesting. It says pull. So that's the USB-C port that you charge in. You know what? The product looks pretty clean and it like feels really robust. There's like no creaking or any sort which is good. It's like a matte white plastic, and it's got like this transparent, translucent like Matora part here. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty solid. Actually, let me see how it feels on the neck as well. So I think I put it on like this. Okay, wait, it doesn't, <laughs> it barely fits. Is my neck that big? Wait, that doesn't stretch or anything either, so. Okay. Oh, so it like wraps pretty tight. Oh my God, I'm so sweaty right now. But uh, okay, it fits pretty well. Doesn't shake around that much. Cool, it's pretty secure. But okay, let's actually connect to the app because I want to see what it does first. Okay, so let me grab my phone, search with the camera, and tour support. All right, so, um, wait, what? Doesn't even give me the app. Is there no manual? Wow, they don't even give a manual in here. <laughs> okay, wait, oh, maybe I scanned the wrong barcode. Maybe I was supposed to scan like this little piece right here okay let's try again kaboom hello wait what it's bringing me to the same page where am i supposed to even down the app okay no that's that's a problem already 
Okay, Google Play Store. I Swift. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm so lost. Metora Pro. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try scanning the barcode again. I'm just gonna click every link, because... Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay. Could it be this? Oh my god, it's in Chinese? Are you kidding me? Okay, luckily I can read Chinese, but like, come on. Oh, okay, so they don't actually have the app in the App Store, and it's an APK from the website, which is kind of sketch, you know? Kind of sketch. Oh my god, okay, look. <laughs> if I show you on the camera, they don't even have... Oh, wait, wait, this is weird. They don't even have a logo for the Matora app, which is crazy. Okay. Oh, wait, I have to power this on. Where's the power button? I'm gonna assume, like, this big thing is, like, the power button over here. Oh, don't you dare tell me this thing has no power. Wait, what? Is this the button? Barely... It's really hard to press. Oh, wait, no, I lied. Here's the button. <laughs> right here, if you can see on the camera, that's the button. Click. Ooh. Okay, okay. <gasps> Connect. Oh, that was actually really fast. It connected really... I don't know if you saw the screen, but that was really, really fast. Oh, shoot. Woo! You can hear it. Oh, so this is what the app screen looks like. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna put it on myself right now. So, um, like this. Oh, that's a tight fit. All right, so I'm gonna put it to like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I want it as cold as possible. Wait, what? Oh, so there's like a feed, there's like a three different settings you can choose, cold, auto, and warm. So, okay, so it's like an air conditioner in the summer and it could actually act as like a heater in the winter. That's actually pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna click the cool setting because I want it to be as cold as possible. Wait, what? I don't want it to auto adjust. Let me do it myself. Or does it, wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this app is, this app is weird. Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna touch that. And I want maximum fan. 16 degrees, all right. I'm gonna sit here and wait, see how it actually is. Okay, so the fan is working right now, which is good. Kind of just like blows up against the side of your cheek and like up to your ears, which is, I don't know, a little weird. Oh, okay, so I can start to feel like the icy plates in the back, like start to become cold. Okay, I'm probably gonna sit here for a while to make, until like it becomes really cold. Okay, so so far I guess it's kind of working, like I don't feel as hot anymore, but I mean, it's just like a fan on your neck kind of thing. All right, let me sit here. Hmm. All right, so taking a look at the specs, it says it's supposed to produce genuine cold air, seven degrees Fahrenheit, lower than the surrounding ambient temperature in a fan mode, which is not a lot. Cause like, you know, I still feel like, I mean, it's kind of cool, but maybe it needs time to warm up. Cause I just put this on because my room is like really, really hot. But uh, anyways, in cooling mode, it reduces the body temperature by 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I think that's kind of a little BS. I don't think it can actually reduce my body temperature by 18 degrees, but you know what? I'm just gonna like keep this on for another five minutes and then we'll talk. And let me enjoy like the fan because I'm burning hot right now. A few moments later. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes. My phone and my camera are both starting to get the overheating sign. So, you know, I better wrap up this quickly, but uh, you know, I had this on for a few minutes. It's, I don't know. I don't want to call it a scam because it kind of works, but you know, it didn't It didn't go past my expectations for it. So it's kind of like, it does blow cold air on you, but it's not like really cold or anything. Kind of just like makes it a little cooler than like ambient temperature, which I guess is okay. And the icy plates on the back are not that icy. So it doesn't really like cool me down that much. And especially like if I'm gonna wear this outside and open when the sun is beaming down on me, first of all, will this device overheat and will it actually make that much of a difference? I don't know about that, but you know, at home, like indoor use, it kind of works well, especially if you're moving around. But like, if you're gonna be sitting at a desk and doing work, like you might as well just like use an actual fan and save yourself like $250, which this retails for. So I don't know, man. It's okay, it's okay. App is pretty janky, still needs some work. Should definitely be on Google Play as well. Yeah. They also say that they have like an AI smart core on the Matora Pro that should automatically adjust the temperature. So I'm gonna press that right now. And you know, it just brought my, t oh, did it get cooler? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I should have used that from the start. 
Oh my god, okay, okay. Give me a few minutes, give me a few minutes. I think the AI is doing a much better job than the cool setting, which is confusing, because the, the, the phone went from 16 to 21 degrees, and it feels cooler. That's weird. Okay, give me a few minutes. A few moments later. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, and you know, if you are planning to get this device, definitely go with the auto mode, cause the fan, the, cool, the air is cooler now, and the icy plates are actually like sort of cold now. But you know, that still doesn't really change my opinion on it. Like, if you're just sitting at home, might as well just use a fan. But I guess if you're like at home and you're constantly like, I mean, it'd be useful. Like, if I'm at home, I'm like cooking or something, or like I'm filming videos and like walking around my room. Will definitely be useful, so it's not bad. But I think that price for 250 is just a little too high. Like if they price this at like maybe hundred dollars, maybe that'd be more worth it. But yeah. And also for the battery life, it's supposed to. Oh, actually, let me pull up the whole thing because the battery life changes depending on which modes you use. So if you're using cooling, you get five hours of normal use, but at max output, you get two and a half hours. And with a fan, you get eight hours of use normal use, which is pretty cool, but I mean, I guess you would still want the icy plate in the back, so I would never use the fan alone by itself. And for heating, you get three and a half hours at max output and six hours at normal use. And the device also takes two and a half hours to charge. Okay. All right, I guess we have one last thing to test, and that is the warm function, and I don't really want to test that right now because I'm so hot, but might as well do it. All right, warm. 50, 50 Celsius, what? 50 Celsius will kill someone. Okay, this is getting really, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me push it up. 55, okay? 55 degrees. Oh my God, okay. So, you know what? I actually think, okay, maybe because my room is just really, really hot today, but like, I think the warming function works better than the cooling function, which is like the main feature of this product. You know what, this actually, oh my god, it's actually really hot. It might be really, it might go in clutch, especially for Canadian winter since it gets like really cold here, but my god, it gets really hot. Like it doesn't blow hot air or anything, but like the plates on the back, they get really, really hot. That's insane. Okay, I'm gonna put it back on auto, it was way too hot, holy. Ah, that feels so much better. As for final thoughts, it's definitely a product that works as intended. They're not scamming anyone, they're not making outrageous claims on their Kickstarter page, which I guess is good. But you know, at $250, that price is just so steep. It's like a novelty item and only for the people who have the money to burn. And like, you know, I'd be just as happy sticking with my fan. And honestly, the fan probably works better if I'm stationary at home. And I don't really think I would bring this outside as well. So, um, if it was my money, I don't think I would really, you know, spend $250 on this. And if the company's watching, they're probably gonna kill me. But honestly, that's just the truth. And that's honestly it for the video. If you like this type of video and you wanna see more from this Kickstarter series, then definitely go ahead and smash that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell so you'll be notified when a new one drops. And you know, if there's any Kickstarter companies watching this, feel free to send me the device if you believe your product is good. Cause you know, I'm not afraid to be harsh on the device. But uh, yeah, anyways, have a good one and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my God, the fans on this were blowing through the whole end of the video. <laughs> I really hope the mic picked up my voice because, oh my God, I don't want to re-record that. Oh, okay, anyways, I'm gonna keep putting this on because it's so hot right now and I'm like completely drenched in sweat. But uh, yeah, bye, for real.